hello friends today i am going to discuss the topics of construction using geometrical tools so i am going to give small examples and how to construct these type of questions may ask in exam for five marks c construct a line segment of a given length ab is equal to 7.8 cm they might give these type of questions so we have to draw and we have to write all the steps of the construction procedure this is very easy simple construct a line segment of a given length first what we have to do first we have to draw one line locate one point and uh, name it as a and take the scale at zero from the zero we have to locate up to 7.8 centimeters same like this from a 7.8 here 7.8 and put a point there and name it as b so a b is 7.8 centimeters simple steps place a scale on a paper and hold it firmly number two mark a point with a sharp edge pencil against 0 cm mark of the ruler name the point as A all the steps whatever we followed just we have to write briefly fourth point mark another point against 8 small divisions just after 7 cm small why because they have given 7.8 cm so 8 small divisions and the 7 cm after 8 small divisions we have to locate name this point as B join points A and B along with the edge the scale or ruler therefore AB equal to 7.8 cm is required line segment therefore AB line segment is equal to 7.8 cm this is very simple these type of questions also may come for the five marks next construct a line segment pq 8.7 centimeters by using compasses here we are not directly using the scale earlier for this problem we used directly the scale we just kept the scale and we pointed a and b by measuring with the scale here they are telling without using the scale we have to use the compasses and we have to locate 8.7 centimeters line segment simple for this also just draw a line keep point on a line and mark it as P place the metal point on zero mark of the scale now we will use scale but we won't use the scale directly we will use the compass like this from 0 we will keep and how much they have given the length we have to mark. So now they are giving 8.7 so that 8.7 first we have to take from the scale and keep the metal point of the compass at P and draw an arc on that line then wherever it will meet that point is Q this is the length required length of 8.7 centimeters so in the exam directly also we can draw with the help of scale but in the exam compulsory this arc should be there then only they will give the marks to us next third one construct a circle with radius 2.6 centimeters simple as already we know radius we can take from compass 2.6 centimeters zero always we have to take the metal point at zero and pencil point 2.6 that 2.6 take one point and take that as a center and keep that metal point at center O and draw the circle like this so the required circle is formed with the radius 2.6 centimeters these are the points open the compass for 2.6 centimeter radius mark a point with sharp pencil and mark it as O place the metal tip of the compass firmly at O 
without moving its metal point. Now slowly rotate the pencil until it come back to starting point. Therefore, required circle is formed. So this is the required circle. Suppose they might ask by changing the different different radiuses. Same the procedure. Whatever they are giving the radius that we have to mark with the compass and same we have to locate one point. From that point we have to draw by using the compass. Simple. These type of questions compulsory may come. So friends be careful. Next. Construct two circles with the same radii 2.5 cm in such a way that the circles intersect at two points. Read the question carefully. Construct two circles with same radii 2.5 cm in such a way that the circles intersect at two points. Before going to draw the main diagram, first we have to understand the question properly and then we have to draw it in rough diagram. What they are asking that radii of both the circles should be the same. Suppose if I didn't, they have mentioned, so I am taking as 2.5 centimeters. If they mention that only we have to take. If they didn't mention, we can take whatever we want the radius. Here they mentioned as 2.5 centimeters. So 2.5 centimeters should be the radius of two circles and that two circles should meet at and should intersect at two points. So we, our diagram, main diagram should come like this. So we have to analyze here. It has to come like this means that two centers distance should not be more than 5 centimeters then only the two circles will get intersect yes or no yes that's why here two points we are locating i am taking that center uh, the two centers distance is four centimeters it may be three or it may be two also we can take but it should be less than the five centimeters why i am telling five centimeters 2.5 plus 2.5 is five centimeters it should be the less than the addition of these two circles radii. Just I located one point here and draw one line uh, that point as O and within 4 centimeters distance another point I located at O dash at O as center and 2.5 as radius. I have taken that radius from the scale and uh, O as center and I have drawn one circle like this. Same like this. Again at O dash as center. One more circle I have drawn. So the two circles with same radius are formed. And they both are meeting at two points. Name it as A and B. So this is the required shape. The steps for this problem. Draw a line segment. O dash equal to 4 centimeters. Here in the bracket I am mentioning. It should be less than the sum of two radius. So 4 centimeters is not fixed. It should be less than. It may be 3 or it may be less than. The 4.5 also we can take. Take compasses and take 2.5 centimeters on the scale. Draw circles with radius 2.5 centimeters as O and O dash as centers. They intersect at A and B. Therefore, given circles are formed. Next, fifth one. Construct two circles with the same radii in such a way that they touch at one point only. Example 2.5 centimeters again I am taking. Listen the question once again carefully. Construct two circles with same radii in such a way that they touch at one point only. So our rough diagram should come like this. Before going to construction every time we have to draw one rough diagram. Then only we can start our uh, actual diagram then only it will come neatly and correctly. So what they are asking is our circle should come like this. The both circle should meet at only single point. So for this type of construction tell me friends how much radius I have to take. I must distance I have to maintain between 0 and between O and O dash. Yes the sum of 2 radii. Then only 
that circles meet at one point so this is 5 cm first i have drawn one line and located one point as o five within 5 cm one more point i have located that is o dash and with 2.5 here i have taken 2.5 as cm so in the exam they may give the <coughs> radii or they may not give that simply they will give the statement and they may ask to prove then we have we have to take whatever we want that radius and same o as center and draw one circle and o dash also center and draw one more circle both are meeting at single point so this is the required construction the steps already you i you uh, we have to write according to the steps what we follow next construct two circles with same radii in such a way that the circles do not touch with each other do not touch with each other rough diagram what they are telling the circle should not touch with each other though so the centers distances between two circles we can take more than 5 cm so we can take anything they should not touch anything that's why i have drawn one line and one point located as o and another point at o dash this distance is more than 5 cm why i am mentioning 5 here the sum of 2.5 and 2.5 is 5 so i am taking this distance more than 5 cm and uh, same take the compass and with 2.5 cm draw one circle and with o dash as center and draw one more circle this is the required diagram thank you